Dear friends, good morning. Today is a beautiful Sunday morning, beginning of a new week. I want to wish you a very, very happy, healthy, successful week. We are now in the countdown to Rosh Hashanah. As we are in the month of Elul, the final Jewish month of the year, in just four weeks, we are going to be beginning the new year. And there's a lot of discussion of how the high holidays will look this year. And many people are getting used to the fact that they may not partake of the things that they usually do, being in shul, surrounded by many people, hearing the soulful melodies and inspiration. They may not be able to be with their family, sitting around a large table, welcoming the new year with wishes and blessings. And there are various types of reactions to this. And I just want to share with you a thought that the Rebbe shared on this day, in Ayoyim Yoyim, in his book of the Thought of the Day. And he says, one thing we must remember, today is Inspiration Series number 125. One thing we must remember that every one of our steps in life is already prepared by God. We believe in divine providence. Everything that is happening is meant to be. The fact that we are maybe stuck at home, especially people who are vulnerable and older, the fact that we're not able to gather together in the same way for the various uh, prayers, community uh, celebrations, and all other things that we're used to doing, is divinely ordained. This is how God wants it now. And though it is difficult, and we hope to get back to the normal we knew, but yet we have to accept that this is how we have to do it now. And it's not going to be in any way diminished. It may be in a different way. And we may have to emphasize a different aspect of how we're going to experience whether it's the holidays as we do many other things, but it will not diminish our relationship with God and our being a Jew and our experiencing this mitzvah, this celebration, this holiday. And that is a very important message to remember. Because sometimes the situations start working on our feelings, brings us down, it makes us feel like we're floating aimlessly, but we have to know it's not true. It's divinely ordained. Our job is to remember if God brought us here to this point, there's something that we have to accomplish or see it in, uh, in a certain way. And let's experience it that way. That's where our focus should be. So we all hope that Rosh Hashanah will be able to all be together fully and completely and will be beyond this uh, pandemic. But we're not sure. But yet, it won't make a difference in terms of the fact that we will all have a full and complete high holiday experience. And this is what we have to spend our time figuring out. Chabad, we are doing many things to try to help people make that experience special and unique and perhaps even more indelible on their mind and soul during this period of time. So we have our work cut out for us. Let's jump into the fray with an open mind to roll with the punches, as they say, and we will find the way that God wants us to do it today, obviously within the confines of Torah and its guidance and direction. So God bless you and have a great day.